Hello everyone, welcome to Cyber War. Today we're doing another room under Hackney. It's called um, Windows Forensics 1. We recently did Linux Forensics. I believe it's part of the SOC Level 1, Security Operations Center 1. I'm still a bit behind with this um, learning path. Uh, so um, let's get to it. I already did the room. I'm just gonna go through it uh, with you on video. Let's let me start the machine already because it takes a while. Um, all right. So uh, task one. <clears throat> it's a theoretical part, and um, basically the room is about. Um, how to find what happened on a Windows computer in terms of the users, files accessed, USBs, and other interesting things. Um, first task, first question, what is the most used desktop operating system right now? You can find the answer in the text, it's Microsoft Windows. Second uh, task, it's about Windows Registry and Forensics. It introduces you to the whole concept and it mentions something called the registry hive, which we will use. Mm, you normally open the registry with regedit.exe, but this only opens like the live registry on the computer. But um, there are tools that um, you can use to save the registry, transfer it, and then open it wherever. So, of course, there. Uh, this question here is: What is the short form of HK local mas machine? It's a HKLM. You can find the answer in the text. Um, another one is task three: accessing registry hives offline. They tell you where they are, like default SAM security software and system are under system32 config. Under users are anti user and user class dot that. Uh, user class dot that is in the directory users, username, whatever. And something called AM Cache Hive. This one is very important um, about recently ran programs and whatnot. Um, then you have transaction logs and all that. Um, the questions for test three, what is the path for the um, five main registry hives? It's this one in system32 config. What is the path for this AM Cache Hive? Is this one here next data acquisition it introduces you to some tools that you use to uh, save the registries no answer here that's five exploring windows registry now that it introduces tools to um, Open the saved uh, registries and uh, registry explorer from Eric Zimmerman. There's also registry viewer and then reg reaper. And no answer here. Now it, it goes on with uh, important data like where you get the OS version and the computer name, time zone, network interfaces, and whatnot. And they ask some questions. Now, the questions refer to text in the theoretical part and images. So you can find everything right there. It doesn't refer to the, the machine that we started, only the last major task before the conclusion refers to that. Task 7, same issue. It tells you how to find in the registry recent files 
and um, all that. And again, the, the question referred to the screenshots here, not to the open machine. Evidence of execution, the same. So it tells you where in the register you find different things. And then um, the same with the questions. And the last one for USB, um, exactly the same issues. And now for the challenge. So these are the answers here. But uh, let's see the setup. So we have the machine on the right side. They have a bunch of tools installed, including Reg Reaper uh, and Cape and uh, the Zimmerman tools. The files are here in something called triage. This is the C drive. And um, as we've seen here in Windows, System32 config, you have all these hives that you can open. So let's uh, have a look. How many user created accounts are present in the system? Um, now, for this one, I actually didn't even uh, open the um, like the hive but let's do that um, so we go in uh, Eric Zimmerman tools and we have the registry tool registry explorer and we start registry explorer we can also do reg reaper I guess I didn't do that. Now I'm curious. I'm doing this live. So config Sam. Okay, so it's making um, this one. Save. Go. Whoa. Okay. So we can use Reg Reaper. You have administrator. Wow. You see, <laughs> there's actually more. So this is not the way, this tool is too good, it's not what they meant. Anyway, let's uh, use Register Explorer like God meant it. Sorry, didn't want to be, to bring religion into this, I was only joking, hope I didn't offend anyone. Um, all right, let me see how I did it, I actually forgot, but um, all right. I don't think I did it like this, but uh, one second, please. So, um, yeah, uh, these are the users one zero one, one zero zero, one zero zero two, and zero zero three. It's not actually all the users, like, <laughs> maybe I didn't read the question right, but it's users created. Okay, so this makes sense, it's three users. Um, next, what is the user account that has never been logged in? Yeah, here it's the, the column, last login time. Uh, 
this one doesn't have a login, so it's good. What's the password hint for this user? It's here in this column, uh, password hint. So, yeah. When was the file change log that txt accessed? So this is not uh, part of this hive. I'm uh, going to open another one. Uh, one second. Oh. Uh, bum, bum. So it's in anti user dot that. And that one is in. One second. in the username so I need to go back to users to one of the usernames and get this one we have an error here it, they tell you about it in the room description okay and we on this one okay and we save it clean whatever yes all right so we are looking for um, when was the changelog file accessed and for usage of files we're going to software Microsoft Windows current version so it's software Microsoft Windows current version, and then Explorer the Sundocs. Explorer and is it this one? Recent Docs. Okay. So this is the file and It's this one, 18.18.48. Here it is. Open down. All right, let's go to the next one. What is the complete path from where the Python 3.8.2 installer was run? So this one is something else. It's um, evidence of execution. So we go in user assist. We go back. It's the same hive but it's current version explorer one second okay i was here already set set of recent docs go to user assist and oh no wait i need to expand sub keys and was it this one yeah so we're looking for a python execution did I miss it? Here it is. This is the, the path. All right, next. I think it's the last part. What was the USB device with a friendly last name, with a friendly name USB last connected? When was it? Okay. So we go to this part and for Friendly last names, we do this. We go in software, Microsoft Windows Portable Devices. But this one is for the, uh, wait. So, I'm not sure what, uh, what hive we're supposed to open for, for this one. It's under software Microsoft. Let's try the same one. Software Microsoft and then it's not Windows, it's Windows Portable. No, it's not this hive. Um, Yeah, I need to t 
to go back to the correct hive. Anyway, let's um, file, unload all hives. Okay, so I managed to um, to find that. Basically, you need to be sure you run system clean, and you go to the path, and that's where it is. Here it is, eighteen forty zero six. Um, basically, that was it. I did this. Uh, Earlier today, during a break at work, and um, and I forgot which of the hives it was in. So, yeah. So the trick was like, let's do it again. Unload. When you open the hive. make sure that you're using the, the clean one like it generates a clean one and um, yeah so you see it gives you this error you click ok then you choose system log one ok save it save it again load it load it and it creates two of them you need to remove this one and then here it is. Boom. All right, that was awesome. Always terminate your machines. Thank you all for watching. And please subscribe if you haven't already.